Hello students, how are you today? Vamos a leer el, la segunda parte de la historia en la página 71 de esta es eh, otra historia y ustedes siguen la lectura en su libro, ¿de acuerdo? Track 32, Story, The Hall of Legends, Part 4. Next to Millie's portrait was an exciting painting of a yacht in a storm. The sky was dark, with a streak of lightning illuminating the yacht, which looked as if it was going to sink. Next to the painting was a photo of a handsome man in his 30s. He was wearing a captain's cap over his black hair and had a smile that could conquer the world. Beneath the pictures was a large photo album in the display cabinet. That's Cousin Jack, Wilma told me. The album was given to us by his mom. Why is he here? Did he sail around the world by himself? I asked. Well, I guess he did, but that's not why he is in here, Wilma answered. He's here because each town or city he visited, he made a friend. I looked at the handsome young man in the photo again. That wasn't difficult, I told her. I'm sure they all wanted to be his friend. Millie told me to look in the album. It was full of old photos of Jack with his arm around different people. But they were not the sort of people you expected him to be with. They looked like they didn't have a penny or a friend in the world. Some were old. Others were just boys and girls who looked like beggars. They were all smiling at the camera with big toothy grins. Jack knew all their names, and he would visit them whenever he was in their town, Wilma explained. He also wrote to them regularly and sent them postcards. I think he spent more time writing than he did sailing. Okay, after reading, you have to read and fill in the blanks. Tenemos las palabras friends, postcards, greens, beggars, and yacht, que viene en la lectura. Entonces, van a completar eh, greens quiere decir sonreír, beggars quiere decir por diosero o pobres, y yacht, pues el yate, el, el barco. Number one, Cousin Jack sailed around the world in his yacht. He visited many cities and towns and made many friends. Some of his friends look like beggars. In his photographs, his friends always show tutti greens. He loves sending postcards to his friends. Y nos vamos a ir a la página de Practice Book 71. Y aquí van a leer este texto y completar la información con nombre y de dónde son sus amigos. Después van a leer la postal y completar la información correcta de Jack, a quién le escribe y sus datos, su dirección, la ciudad. Y vas a usar estas ideas o estas palabras para escribir dos postales en tu cuaderno. Recuerden que esto es importante, todo lo, lo que se ha trabajado en el cuaderno. Guíense en esta, en esta postal pero utilizando como este tema, dos postales, uno como que le conteste, uno que escriba a un amigo y le conteste a alguien más, ¿ok? Estas palabras, ocean, fishing, delicious fish, company, que se, que se escriban estas palabras ahí en esas postales. Mucha suerte chicos y nos vemos en el próximo video. Have a nice day.